everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these fold flat gift bags. I do love making these. I have a whole playlist dedicated to fold flat gift bags in all different sizes. So every time I do one, I try to change the size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the sizes within the title. So when you look at that playlist, you can go through, see all the sizes and decide what one it is that you need to make, depending on the gift that you have to go in it. These are lovely. I actually made a slightly different size for when this was launched for Trimcraft because I'm on the design team so I done this style and you'll see it feature in some of the actual you know photos for this collection and I just thought it was such a nice way to show off you know the frames and all these other bits and pieces so this is using the Dove Clark Craft Happy You collection and these are photo frames but they work so well as handles now I have done these handles like this for the quad box that I done again I'll share that up here because that's another really nice tutorial but I just think they look great so that's them folded flat and you can see now how roomy these are so these particular ones measure seven and a half in height seven in width and four and a half in depth so it's a really lovely size there great in Christmas papers they're going to look really nice under the tree you could put a big bow there to, to kind of seal it up if you wanted to but I'll just put some tissue paper in there and that will look lovely and then I've got here a little paper clip the bow and the word smile and I think they're really really sweet and then the whole thing just folds nice and flat so you can make a ton of these and store them all away which I know a lot of you like to do so let me show you how to make it okay so I'm using these are the uh, you get eight photo frames okay so I've got two left for today's bag then these are the paper clips I had two packs and I've just this one you get three of each design but that was one left from the other pack so I just popped it in there so I'll be using that they're the bows so they'll get used and then that's the lovely 12 by 12 paper pack I have two but between the two now yeah I've probably got one paper pack so beautiful papers love all the rose gold foiling so for this one I've already got mine here I'm going to use these two now I'm not using a foiled one for the tutorial because it can it kind of plays up with the the camera focusing sometimes plus it's easier for you guys to see the score lines on this one all right so you want two pieces of 12 by 12 okay so make sure you got your paper if it's directional it's facing up the right way you're going to score at seven and eleven and a half then rotate your cardstock and score at four and a half and then score at six and three quarters Okay, then rotate your card back again so it's in that original orientation and you want to score it nine and a quarter down to that first score line. Okay, and that would have been the six and three quarter one that you scored there. Okay, so if I just bring that up, there's that score line there and it just meets with that six and a quarter one. This is going to be our back, so this is what's going to fold completely flat. Then you want another piece, this is the front, so again make sure your orientation is right. You're going to score at 7 and 11 and a half. Rotate, we're going to score again at 4 and a half. But this time you want to flip the card over and score at 6 and 3 quarters past the first score line down to the second score line. This is the front, we don't want to do that fold flat score line all the way across that front piece, we want that to stay nice and intact really. You just want the score line so it folds flat to be on both sides and the back which is what we have because this is a side piece here. Okay so that's all the scoring with the scoreboard. Then I'm just using a stylus and my metal ruler and you just want to add a few extra score lines. I'm actually going to flip mine over so it's easy for you to see. But you're going to be scoring, so imagine yours is that way. This section here, where you've done that score line just down to that first piece, we're going to do a score line from there down to the bottom left and there down to the bottom right. Those of you that do these fold flat gift bags, you'll know exactly what to do. And once you do them more and more, it's very straightforward. But this rectangle that you will have you want to form a triangle within it, okay, with the top of the triangle meeting with this score line here. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that one here. Okay, and all that's going to do is allow, or just help the bag fold flat. So do that again on your second piece. This is it here, you'll have that same rectangle, all right. Okay, now you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, don't worry about trying to fold these ones here and this one here, but the one where you have that extra score line going all the way across there, because you'll have two, one this one and then that one. This piece here, so we've just burnished that one. The next one fold back towards you, so you've created a valley and a mountain, and basically that's how the bag will fold flat. So that's the back, and that will be in its folded flat 
position okay so now we need to do a little bit of cutting so again I'm going to keep it up this way so you can see what I'm doing this is the half inch tab all along here and you'll have this four and a half by four and a half square it's this little piece on the side here that we want to take out completely okay like so and then just cut nice and neat up this one here this is our base, okay? Now this 4x4 four four square, we just want to take a couple of wedges off just so that we don't get anything hanging out that we don't want, like so. And then I always like to take a little wedge off of each end of my tab. Again, it just keeps everything concealed, okay? Now you've done that, you will be able to fold this piece better. So what you want to do is fold that line down so it meets the top of that triangle. And then this will kind of just do its own thing. It will want to fold that way because of where we've done the score line. So can you see now how everything's starting to go? Imagine that's all folded in and there is the back of the fold flat. Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same on this piece. So you want to remove that tiny piece. You then want to cut up that other one so you've got that four by four and a half sorry by four and a half square nice and free take wedges off of both sides and then these little ones here and then again with that one bring it up so you just fold it down to the top of the triangle and as you bring this up it will all fold okay so we've got our two pieces ready. Now, if you're going to do the handles like me, because that's another thing, you don't have to do the handles like this. And also, if you don't have these frames, get your square dies or your rectangle dies and make your own frames. I've seen lots of you do that. So don't, you know, don't feel that you have to have these. But also, you've got these ones. These are Dovecraft as well. And these are the iridescent photo frames. And these are the ones that I used on that quad box that I um, spoken about really really good so if you do have them lying around or you see them in any of your in your craft shops you know um yeah use them right before we stick it together we need to stick these handles down now there's a couple of ways to do them so what you can do is you can you basically fold that in half or i will just for the purposes of the video you're working within this section here now it depends how far down you could come all the way down here so your hand goes quite into the bag i like it about there about halfway within this square piece here. Now, if you want, you can draw a pencil around that, and I think that's how I showed you in the quad box. So yeah, you can do it that way, okay? Or you can do it the way that I've done it for this, which is fold it this way. I'm gonna lay it over the top here, get everything lined up with my grid, okay? And then I'm gonna lay this down, make sure I've got it in the middle, like so, and I'm gonna Draw a little pencil mark on there. So I'm just showing alternative ways to do things because we all find things, you know, easier or harder to do. So I thought if I show you both ways to do it, then you can decide. So then I'm going to grab my, oh, they will stick together, okay, my red tape. And then I'm just going to run a strip down there. You don't have to use the red tape, but this is very, very strong. And I thought because it's a handle, you know, I want to, be sure that it's going to hold. I mean, <laughs> not that I don't buy heavy gifts, but most gifts are not very heavy anyway. So unless you're buying drink or candles, majority of things are pretty light. Okay, now before I stick it down, I'm going to bring in the other one and just lay it on top, slightly offset so you can see the black line underneath and just do the same lines. Okay, and we'll stick that one in a moment. Okay take all the backing off then I'm going to pop this underneath I know I want it there because I'm using my grid underneath and I know this will need to line up this is the, the start for me and then it's there because it's seven inches so I'm just going to bring it up make sure everything's nice and straight because my frame is because it's on it's already lined up on the grid and just stick that one down Okay, then flip it over and then I'm going to cut it with my cutting knife. Now, the, the reason I'm saying you can do it this way as well as the other way, 
if you maybe don't cut very straight or I don't know you just don't line it up so well you could stick this all down and then see bits sticking out whereas if you stick it this way straight away and then just cut it out you know you're going to get a perfect cut so I was using the ruler to try and protect my fingers because I don't like I don't like doing it but I know it's a, a good way to do it I'm just going to pop that there there we go and it just comes out and if I bring it up this way it also looks very neat from this side whereas again if you're cutting it and it goes a little bit skew whiff you're going to see that well I say that if someone is really kind of you know I always say dissecting your project but I just think that way you do get a nicer finish so you want to redo that now exactly the same way on this one and because you've already measured them and put the little pen mark on there you know you'll get everything lined up so I'm just going to speed it up and get this one done okay so I've just gone and added some double-sided tape on my tabs I've taken the backing off of that one already when you're doing gift bags always work from the bottom base score line get that lined up and then work up if then your top is slightly off you can trim it you know it's an easier doing it that way it's easier to be able to kind of save it if it is slightly out whereas if you start from the top and come down playing around with the base is just going to be a bit more of a, a hassle so it's easier to work from the bottom up but if you've scored everything it should be fine you can see there see what I mean I am actually just a, a tiny bit out because that is so so small and I think it's just because I come a little bit high I can just come in underneath and just very carefully on and you know kind of follow the the angle really there we go you'd never know okay and then fold oh got static all on me fold this half over I've just taken off the the backing there and then bring this one over and again start from the base there we go perfect so you will have now the front and the back and the base. The front will be the side that's perfect. You won't have that extra score line, but on the side you'll have that score line that should run all the way around the three sides here. Okay, so have the back facing you. So there's that score line there. You want to fold that one down first. And then I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going to stick one of the sides down first. Again, like I always say, if you do want to make this stronger and reinforce it, what I would do is before you stick this down is put some grey board or a couple of like strips of or pieces of cereal box, something like that. So then you want to stick that side down. Just pop that in there so it sticks. And then pop some glue on your other. Bring that one up. Again, fold the whole thing over and you can go in there. Just take a few minutes just to make sure all that glue is spread out before Okay, and then I am going to bead a glue all the way around the sides, and then you can just bring this one down and just go in there again and just make sure it's all stuck. Okay, while that's drying, I'll just show you what I've done with the little piece here. Obviously, you can decorate with anything you want and use little charms, but I'm using just the plain ones because I have all of these here, which I fussy cut from one of the sheets in the paper pad. And I'm using smile on all of them. I just, I like that one. So yeah, we'll go for that one. So I've got one of them. I've got, oh, they do have foam sticky on the back, but I'm going to be using my hot glue gun as well. So I'm going to pop that in there, like so. Okay, so I've got those pieces there. And then you now want to push your sides in, which you would have already scored. And then just start to, I've kind of pushed those, my fingers are on the top of the triangles, okay? and then these ones are here and just kind of push it and it will kind of pop it will look it kind of pops in it just knows that it, it wants to go that way and everything will line up perfectly and just go and burnish it so it kind of gets used to being that way okay and you don't want there to be anything overhanging the sides here and stuff that means we've got everything lined up and then we can just decorate it so it's just easier with this because I'm using the hot glue to do it when it's all flat so I'm just going to add a bead of glue there and also just to kind of seal all that in there as well and then I've got it just coming off the corner so I don't know if I've got a happy you playlist actually I've got the secret garden playlist which is the other one that we received the same time so um, I will double check and I will add it in now if I do because there's some lovely beautiful projects there you have it 
how cute is that? So there you have it, three beautiful gift bags. Honestly, this took half an hour to do all this. It took no time at all, I think, because the handle's already done, you know, all this is done, all you've got to do, the time-consuming bit is just cutting out that, scoring and, and folding and stuff. It's, it's very, very quick. So if you do need quick bags, fold flat ones are surprisingly fast. It's just the decoration that would add more time. So hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Check out all those playlists because there's so much inspiration on my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.